I guess a short, brief second. It's not going to be long because I've been bringing y'all shorts. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I've been pretty busy and doing things for my line and revamping. As y'all saw the, my intro for my videos, they are brand new now. It's not the same intro I used to have. So I kind of just upgraded. Um, I had got a new phone like a few months ago. So my content quality and things like that have come out better and I still got my old faithful ring light. So I just wanted to let y'all know in short, that's what's been going on. If you don't see me doing a lot of videos, I'm busy with my line and just mom things and things with life. So when I feel the need to bring y'all a video, um, I'll record one and share it with y'all to help y'all out and still give you some things that I feel like will help you. Today, we are going to be talking about how to be a lazy natural, what exactly that means, because I think that that gets abused as far as what being a lazy natural really means. So, um, and before I do that, this hoodie is actually from my clothing line, Blessed Healing. I'm going to have the link as always to this hoodie as well as, it's so cute, as well as um, the other apparel from my line in, in, the, in the description box. Um, I have some more stuff coming as well for the site, so stay tuned for that as well and just keep being on the lookout for that because I'm still um, really just photo based, adding photos of some new things because I've totally and completely revamped um, a lot of how the line looks. Not these hoodies, but the, sh uh, the shirt, the t-shirts and um the crop top hoodies i just revamped those and as well as the blessed healing jacket i revamped that as well so you guys can go look at that um i love it but enough about that the link to that is in the description box and if you want to check out my website you can go do that now being a lazy natural does not mean that you don't take care of your hair underneath the protective style whichever one you choose to do and stick with well or you, you know if you decide to change up you can do either one being a lazy natural also does not mean that you go ahead and then leave a style and for months at a time you neglect your hair being a lazy natural does not mean that you don't moisturize your hair you don't keep it healthy you don't do the things that you would normally do to take care of it that is not what being a lazy natural is being a lazy natural literally means that you keep your hair away so that you can keep your hands out of your hair and not touch your hair as much as the average person would uh, touch their hair for doing their hair nothing wrong with you know if you want to go through your natural hair journey running it the way that you do like i said everybody runs their journeys differently but i just you know from my experience protective styling has always helped me even before i came on like my natural hair journey if you're interested in these locks i just shot a short video i'll put the link to that video in the description box um these are some ombre locks that i did if you guys want a tutorial on that one day um let me know let me know in the comments section i'll do a tutorial on how i wrapped these and made it a uh, ombre um so back to what we're saying so i run my hair journey with mainly protective styles i do it because number one i don't have to constantly keep my hands in my hair it prevents a lot of breakage and things that would happen if i keep my hair out because when my hair is out let's just face it i'll have hands and hair syndrome and i want to always do my hair so um, I've been doing a different amount of protective styles, but the locks are relatively new. And then also um, with protective styling and being a lazy natural, it just helps me to keep my hands out of my hair as well as I get to try different things out without uh, damaging or harming my hair, i.e. color. Um, I can try that out and not have to damage or harm my hair or dye my hair to do that. So there's that, right? So when you're being a lazy natural, the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a style that's going to be something that you stick with um, doing. Um, and what I mean by that is like for me, it's been the locks. I changed them up. Um, I've been changing them up because I was trying to find my landing of what kind of color I really wanted to go with to be my, my signature color. I found that it's this uh, ombre situation. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, Y'all going to see a lot of that, just the same situation. And this will be in for, I'll be keeping them in for a month. I just kind of was doing it recently a little more often to kind of figure out the color. So I found this one works for me perfectly, right? So you want to pick the style 
you also want to make sure that you're washing deep conditioning your hair all of the stuff that every natural on youtube talks about you want to make sure in between that that you're giving your protein treatments and doing the things you need to do for your hair so that your hair does not become weak inside the protective styles and start to shed a little bit more and break off and things like this so make sure you're you're having a consistent routine even when you come out of the protective styles now there's a lot of controversy about this some people say don't get protective styles back to back what i do is i dust my ends i keep telling you i've been telling y'all for like a while now that i was going to do a video on dusting my ends but i always do it off camera and i forget so forgive me all but dusting your ends is so important and it's so important because in the process of you dusting your ends, you're not giving yourself a trim because a trim is a haircut. A trim is they, you know, when you go to hairdressers, they want to give you a shape. So if you're feeling like when you go, like they cut a lot, it's because they're giving you a haircut. They want to give you a shape. It, you have to be really specific in the language when you speak to them and talk to them. This is why I don't go to the hairdresser and tell them like, no, I want you to dust my ends. I don't want to want you to give me a shape. I want you to take off what's needed. I don't need a shape. Just dust my ends. Now, if you have breakage in a lot of parts of your area, you probably are more than likely, uh, a lot of parts, I'm sorry, of your hair, you're probably more than likely going to get a haircut. But you want to pretty much just do dust things. That's what I do in between. So when I take my locks out, I always have the scissors near me. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just dust my ends. I don't, I'm not taking off a whole bunch. It's just wherever it starts to split it um, in certain sections, I'll just you know dust it because there's no sense in waiting and being like all right i'm a protective style some more no we want to dust it all so i dust those ends and that's perfectly fine perfect right make sure you're doing all of that also um you know when being a lazy natural some people i i have seen it and it it's really not good for the hair like they'll so for me this is the most recent that i did when i when i put these locks in i still had my same braid base in all i did was took all of my blonde locks out and switched the coloring and installed a new color that's different than taking the braids out and i just washed my hair a few days ago and going through the whole process that's not something you want to do so i don't suggest that the only reason why i switched this is because i wanted to switch up the color would i be doing it often though because i gotta wrap the hair and it's a lot of uh ten it, it's not like a lot of tension because I, I don't wrap super super tight but it's like tension over time so you don't want to do that full locks are great for hair growth and i'm going to tell you why most people say they cause breakage they cause breakage when you are keeping them in for months at a time that's any protective style when you're just neglecting your hair and you're abusing the style then that's what can cause the breakage and the split ends and things like that um i don't suggest keeping it in for extended periods of time a month is good some people say six weeks uh my hair will it, it will past a month is really going to be like sahara desert dry i talk about that in many videos you don't want that so i do you know a month and i think that is more than a sufficient amount of time right to keep your protective style in so these will stay in for a month but outside of that if you don't you know if it's not a situation where you just don't like the color and you want to change it because i don't just change my colors just to change my colors i wasn't changing the colors just to change it i was trying to find a balance of some type of color that i would really like to put in my hair and then installing it so when i found this little situation which like i said i'll link the video in the description box worked out um on top of not neglecting your hair and picking a style that you want and just making sure with the routine just let your hair do its thing under the protective style. Make sure, you know, you're oiling. For me, what has worked out with getting a substantial amount of growth is most people don't suggest it. I oil my hair every morning when I wake up. Some people say at nighttime, I found in the morning it works out. My hair is growing like a weed. As long as you're doing a scalp massage and you can use your fingers, you don't need a scalp massager. I only use a scalp massager when I wash my hair, and so that's not very often. Um, I'm not washing my hair very often as well, like... When I wanted to switch the color up again for these, I, that would have been too much work to take the braids out and wash my hair. I wasn't doing all that. I wanted to just literally switch the color up and the braids still looked nice under here. So that's what I did. But you literally want to just make sure that you're taking care of your hair. You're not leaving the styles in too long. That um, you have a good routine when you come out of this styles. Usually I've, I'm in there for a month, two weeks. I, I need protein in my hair because I'm high porosity. So 
Um, I use a Green Beauty's protein treatment. I'll link it in the description box. It's not a super harsh one like Apogee, and I love it. I use it. Um, you know, if I was to wear my hair, I would do it once a week, but since I don't, and it's been like every two weeks I was doing my hair up until now, um, I only use it like every two to four weeks. So, but these will be in for a month and then I got some popping for y'all too as well that's coming up. So I'm excited about that. I'm actually going to do a video for it, but that's pretty much it. Um, I was, this is not a concrete video. This wasn't going to be a super long video. You really have to just take care of your hair under protective styles because you notice some people, they are in protective styles and when they come out, their hair is damaged. They don't have a wash day routine. They, they might be doing their hair a lot in between. Like they might have it where it's though, um, unless you're doing your hair wet, I can't do my hair wet. It'll break off. Um, they'll they'll have it where they're constantly rebraiding your hair every like two days or whatever and it's just like that's just too much tension on the hair like i wish i would sit there and take these braids out from under this foundation and wash it just that i wasn't doing all that i was just going to put the locks in because it's bad enough you know i had to switch the color up and that's it i wouldn't do that all the time though because just too much tension will break your hair off so that was just my video on how to keep your hair healthy it's very very simple it wasn't many major crazy tips just make sure you're taking care of your hair and not neglecting your hair leave no styles and make sure you have a routine um that you're moisturizing your hair that you're oiling your scalp um you you know with the back to back yeah they say that's not good but as long as you dusting your ends and we're, we're in certain spots where it's starting to split you know you dust those split ends and literally just take off the split ends your hair will be fine because i do my protective styles back to back and you saw my thumbnail for my hair it's grown a lot so i mean as long as you are attending to your ends you're fine like my hair hasn't like thinned out or anywhere or anything like that you know it's because I'm using our herbs and things like that. I'm not in my girl all the time. So I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.